And welcome to Albufera. This is an amazing resort town in Portugal and uh, in the winter it's quite empty. Today it's a Sunday so it's not that empty as on, on the work days. And we will show you in a couple of days uh, that we are staying here a lot of interesting details from here. So enjoy and subscribe if you didn't already do so because it helps our work as well. And you will also be able to see our videos first and uh, if you activate the notification bell you will also get the notifications and then you don't miss any of the next videos. Check out the fishermen, they are catching some fish today, I believe it's for the restaurant. Here you can see the beautiful houses on the cliffs and some rooftop restaurants. Here we have the nets that are protecting you from falling rocks and also giving the pigeons a very nice home. <laughs> they are enjoying it a lot and saying hello. <laughs> and these two pigeons are the guardians of the tunnel. You will see one white one and the other one that is normal color. And the tunnel which is really cool. Also there is some spooky stuff here before the steps and there is my lovely wife as well who is <laughs> exploring the tunnel. And let's see what is above. All right, there's nothing special above, but it's still very nice. The rocks are amazing. Check out the color. And now we're going to the old town to see the beautiful Albufera old town. You can see that the building of this tunnel took almost three years. And it's an amazing work that they've done. In 1935 was completed. Amazing tiles here as well. If you didn't see our Lisbon video, check it out. There's much more beautiful tiles there as well. Hello, little pigeon. How are you? <laughs> what can you show us today in Albufera? <laughs> okay, let's follow you. <laughs> and the seagulls from above want to show us something as well. Yeah, it's a nice part of town. I agree. <laughs> okay, so now I see what the seagulls were telling us. There's a beautiful church around. <laughs> or maybe they were just greeting their friends who are on the top on the cross. <laughs> and this area is full of little churches which are beautiful. I think this is Grea de Santana. And now I'm going up. My wife is waiting there. And we found another Miraduro viewpoint. Let's check it out. This looks really nice. Let's see what we can see from here. Well, it is definitely worth it. It's a really nice view. You can see the chimneys as well as the church and the full moon. The chimneys are very typical for this region. They date back to the Arabian tradition. And here is the view to the other side, to the excavations and the beautiful rocks and to the sea, to the beach. And this is the day two of filming. Let's show you a little bit of non-touristy area. Here we found some goats, accidentally. <laughs> Very curious goats. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Do you want to say something to the camera? Okay, I understand. I understand you don't want the <laughs> video. <laughs> and on the other side there is a horse as well, I will show you now. Actually it's two horses, I just saw the other one behind because we didn't see it from the distance, but now we can see it. Also what is very typical here is the almond trees. You can see this one is uh, blossoming. Now it's mid-January. Here we have one running dog going home probably. <laughs> and some garbage on the way unfortunately. When we were in Praia da Luz we didn't man uh, notice many of these things but uh, unfortunately in Albufera uh, suburbs it's typical. Nevertheless, Albufera is a bigger city, so it's a little bit to be expected, but I'm hoping that's gonna get better soon, that somebody is gonna decide to clean this. <laughs> there are also parts of Albufera which are really clean, so it depends really. It's an amazing town anyway, so... There are areas of improvement everywhere, don't take it as criticism. Ah, he's coming back <laughs> on his little journey today. <laughs> Very nice. And here we are in another nice area which is not touristy. It looks very okay for living. There's a uh, the garbage there as well to sort it out and the hospital. And another not so touristy area with cute little benches and cute little palm trees. <laughs> Today is the day three of filming, more beautiful nature, 
and the isolation camp. <laughs> if you test positive in Portugal, you go here. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Portugal is now one of the re least restrictive countries, which I enjoy. It's relatively relaxed here. And here we have the benches that are produced from the recycled plastic, which is a good thing. Well, the best would be not to produce any plastic garbage at all, but <laughs> that's more of an utopia in today's world. It's a very nice park here, Alfa Robeira or something like that. And this is not only a park where you can enjoy palm trees, it's also a sports park to do sports. <laughs> and this is a golf player who cannot really play here because it's not there's no golf court. <laughs> here is one panorama from the sports park. You can see the sea behind the sports place, like a football field or something. And some buildings where people live. And some more of the beautiful sports park. <laughs> It's not actually a sports park, it's a fitness park, at least the official name is <laughs> Fitness Park, the Alfa Robeira. And it's a fitness park for big and small children as well. You have a lot of choice here. And this jogger here is telling you to subscribe to the channel and act activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of his joggings in the future. <laughs> here we have an another almond tree in bloom. And behind you will see the cyclist statue as well. Very nice. Actually, it's not only one tree, it's a couple of trees here in the park, almond trees. And on the other side you can see a skate park and a lot of skaters there as well. And here we have some seagulls checking out what what is on the menu. <laughs> Let's try to get closer. Hello little seagulls, did you find something to eat there? <laughs> Okay, I guess they're scared of us, now they're on the car. <laughs> Here we are at the municipal market and there's a really nice artwork behind. I guess these seagulls above are looking for the fish. Or any other tasty delicacies. And the market is closed now, it's usually open until 2 p.m. And today we're gonna enter the market so that you can see also the market atmosphere. We are a little bit late here at uh, 1 p.m. 1.30 actually. So almost everything is gone, but here is the fish area. And the fish is greeting you. <laughs> here we have some nice oranges and lemon and oregano. We just bought some le lemon from this lovely lady. <laughs> here you can see the apples are 2 euros or more per kilo. Clementines, I don't see the price. Tomato, I don't see the price either. And the market is about to close, so we are leaving this beautiful market. Maybe we'll come another day, we will see. And now we're gonna show you some prices. This is a discounter, so don't count on these prices in the regular shops. So they are a little bit lower here. Here we have the potatoes for one euro a kilo. And then, if you put them in plastic and buy a huge package, you get a little bit of a discount. They asked me not to film anymore in the shop. Maybe they didn't like my jokes about too much plastic. <laughs> Probably just a policy of the shop. So, if you're interested in the, in the prices, let, let us know and uh, put it in the comments. Also, subscribe to the channel and maybe we will try to do another video if there is enough interest that would be focusing only on the prices. We can also talk about the prices of accommodation and other prices if you're interested in that. Here is Camara Municipal, the city hall that looks like a spaceship a little bit. Here's a cute little square. We are going to the cat park today and also maybe we will check out some viewpoints on the way and there will be some interesting stuff for sure. So this is our goal for today, the cat park <laughs> on the other side. And on the way we're gonna go through the old town as well and show you a little bit of the old town as well. Here is O Golfinho, the statue that should be representing a dolphin and saying that uh, not too much plastic should be used, uh, the plastic is torturing the oceans. You can read more about it here and see some of the plastic as well. <laughs> here in this direction you have the beach of the Germans. Uh, <laughs> Praia do Salemage. 
feel free to laugh at my pronunciation. <laughs> we may film the Praia do Selemaes one another day. Let's see. Maybe we'll split this video into two. You can read more about the history here of Albufera. First it was conquered by the Moors, then it got uh, the independent rule in 1504. After that it was a fishing village, and in, in 1986 it was promoted to a town, now it's a very popular tourist resort. Here is a high capacity liter compactor, it's supposed to work on the solar energy. Smart pin. And some emergency equipment for use for everybody in case of cardiac arrest. Here is the advice. And you can see that Albufera is very touristy by these uh, rolling steps, but they are also very useful for people who cannot walk well, so it's a good thing as well. So these are the instructions here. Don't sit on the steps, for example. Do not use the handrail to rest bags or other objects. And here is the funniest tip. So they say that you should check the direction of the steps and only enter when the direction is the one that you want to take. <laughs> Do you think there was really people who went in the other direction? <laughs> other direction, what did you say? <laughs> Right, so let's go on the escalator. We can also use the opportunity to film on the way down. And my wife just said it, those are the sticker steps, because there are so many stickers as I didn't notice. But she's right. Here we are at the bottom now, and you can see the rules also now illustrated here. This looks like another solar press of the garbage. This is a huge fish that likes to eat plastic. Not the best choice, fishy fishy. Yeah, this is the sad, sad reality of Portugal. Not only Portugal, but all around the world. You can see here how much plastic is produced in Portugal. If somebody can translate us that and put it in the comments, please. <laughs> A very nice art artwork from Teresa Paulino, a monument to the fishermen, because uh, Albufera used to be a fisherman town, fisherman village actually, now it's a town. Another perspective on the monument to the fishermen. Here you can see some prices. We have a small breakfast for 280, large breakfast 5 euros and a lot of fish options. Here is another beachside bar, so you can compare the prices as well. And a very cute fish that is on the top of the steps is saying hello. It's a tuna. Tun fish in German. <laughs> Here used to be a door, the door of Santana. And after the earthquake, which destroyed the door to the church, it was rebuilt and the new door was built outside the walls and away from the beach as well. A nice little corner. And this house is made of seashells. Seashell house. <laughs> Porta da Villa Antiquity. It looks like there's a bar here as well. And if you don't subscribe to the channel, this eagle is going to attack you maybe. Like he's attacking this cobra. <laughs> I hope you don't mind my jokes. I just noticed that most of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. So please uh, respect our work and subscribe as well if you don't mind. Thank you. <laughs> and here is a kitty cat. We are getting close to the cat park. So, <laughs> oh, The kitty cat is showing us the way to the cat park, I guess. <laughs> okay, the cat is saying the way to the cat park is in this direction. Here are some nice artworks to remind you of the history of Portugal. And a cute little street on the way to the cat park. Travessa da Igreja Velha. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too bad my pronunciation. 
some more beautiful artwork and the cat house. I'm being quiet not to wake up the cat. <laughs> Can you see it? Hello, sorry if we woke you up. This scary artwork is showing you how it looked looked like in 1755 when there was a huge earthquake in the in the sea and then there was a tsunami afterwards which destroyed a lot of stuff in Portugal and here we have another nice artwork here we are at the Republic Square that used to be called Square of Arms before <laughs> so interesting history this is now a municipal archaeology museum of Albufera and it used to be a city hall before the earthquake in 1755, it was destroyed. And this version of the Archaeology Museum is from 1999. You can read more about it here. These artworks are depicting the Portuguese history. This was on the left, the Albufera in 1813, how it used to look like. And here you can see on the right, the conquest of the Moors. The Moors conquested this place earlier. Here is the Albufera Music Conservatory, as well as some very interesting ruins that were excavated in 2000. They are showing uh, how the Islamic population in the 12th and 13th century used to live and uh, they used to, for example, hide the, the figs. There was a lot of fig seeds found here. The figs were one of the most important trade, trade uh, goods in the old times. And can you guess how did they protect those fig trees in the 16th century here? From the attacks of the Moorish pirates, of the French and the English corsairs as well. Well, they used to protect it with three bronze cannons. <laughs> there was an Albufera battery here for protection and this was a part of the Albufera castle. And we are going further on the way to the cat park and found some really nice details here. And do you remember this part? This is what we used to film in the beginning of the video. Here is the clock tower. A little bit more about the clock tower history. It is an old Muslim tower and is integrated in the in the building of the old jail. Some more beautiful artwork. And now we're gonna go with the number of cars on this street. There are some cafes on the way as well with some amazing artwork as well. It's called the Beach Basket, this one, with a sea view terrace. Here are some prices. You can have the sardines for 850 for example. Chicken strongoff for 11.50. A lot of salads, pastas, omelets, tuna for 7.50. This here is Saint Sebastian Church and Museum of Sacred Art. And the bells are from the other church there. Another beautiful artwork. This is uh, for social inclusion, so I guess they don't want any point systems. They don't know, they don't want any social divisions. They want everybody included in the society. No two class, uh, no two classes of citizens. Here we have some photos on the way to the beach, to the cat park. Sorry. Here we have a, a nice photo exhibition. You can see how the fishermen work these days. It's not an easy job, that's for sure, so respect respect the fish and respect the fishermen <laughs> whenever you're eating. <laughs> Here we go. And some summer photos so to show you that it's much more full in the summer than now. This looks like a very interesting festival. How is it called? Can somebody tell us in the comments? And this looks to be a part of the festival as well, or? Hmm, it's very nice anyway. And do you recognize this market? This is the municipal market where we used to film as well. This looks like a summer concert. It's a completely another vibe in the summer. It's a lot of tourists, a lot of uh, drunken people as well. <laughs> now in the winter it's quite relaxed. Albufera is a very multicultural place, the city of different cultures, which is very nice. Here we have an elevator to go to the beach, as well as the steps. The steps are here. And the elevator provides a very nice viewpoint as well, with a lot of love chains, or how do you call this? <laughs> I found out how it's called. It's called love locks, and they're very 
bad for the environment sometimes and also they can fall and, uh, and go into the sea or uh, into the nature. Sometimes they put too much weight on the bridges as well, which is not really good. And finally we reached our goal for today, the cat park. Hello kitty cats, let's see. And here is how the cat park, cat park looks like. Can you see the two cats in the picture? One is a si Siam or Siamese cat, I don't know how to <laughs> say it. And here is a little grey cat. So this cat colony is authorized by the city hall and there are volunteers who feed these cats. So you don't need to feed them. If you feed them, uh, they say only put it dry, dry cat food or dry cat snacks, but they don't need to be fed because they are fed by the volunteers, don't worry about it. Hello kitty cat, how are you? Those are the happy cats. They have a lot of choice here, a lot of nature, beautiful view. <laughs> so when the cats have too much, when there's too many people around them, they just go and chill here. From the cat park you have a beautiful view in both directions. You will see some beautiful rocks below and also the marina behind, the front part of the marina. And the traditional buildings. And the not so traditional buildings. Hello, Schwarze Katze, enjoy your meal. <laughs> and some more prices here. If you have a rabbit stew for 8.90, octopus salad for 6.90, and an Indian restaurant on the, on the other side, which is opening in March, with some delicious meals as well. And we're going down the steps. Let's not use and waste the energy when we can anyway walk down. <laughs> but if you're walking down the steps, you need to be a little bit uh, careful not to step in into something like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. And besides being healthy, the walking down the steps can show you some nice graffiti like this one, make love not war. And if you like this video and if you want to see the part 2 that we may film, don't forget to subscribe to the video, also don't forget to like, uh, share, to, to comment as well and let us know the feedback, what can be better next time. Bye bye until the next video.